Hi there, Felina here with Skylar, and we're here to talk about Obamacare. <laughs> Big topic in the media these days, of course. Um, and I just, it struck me the other day, um, it's a bit of a theory, but there's been some articles written on it as well, that the access to health care to folks that have had an entrepreneurial idea but have been afraid to implement that idea, jump off the ship, so to speak, of their corporate uh, safe job with healthcare is potentially gonna change the face of entrepreneurship. So I think of it, I mean, you, you hear this all the time, right? Especially if you have children and family, it's like, I've gotta keep my job because I have to mm -hmm. keep my healthcare. And that's been a big driver for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And with the subsidies that Obamacare brings, you look at it, I'll just use myself as an example because I'm, I'm still in startup mode, so to speak, and I'm investing really every penny I make back into my business so I can grow. And when you look at my take-home pay last year, um, you know, it's not a lot. And I'm okay with that, I'm building a business. When I looked at some of the plans for Obamacare, because I've been self-employed now for 10 years and paying my own health insurance, I mean, if I wanted to go with a bronze plan, I could essentially pay $8 a month <laughs> with the subsidies, wow. okay? Now, whether that's right or wrong, um, I'm not here to debate that, but I never go to the doctor. I hate going to the doctor. I'm quite a healthy person. You know, I just need more, God bless, knock on wood, anything catastrophic. So what are your thoughts, Skylar, on this, and, and how did this strike you as well? This is such an interesting conversation, especially as we've been talking about how entrepreneurship really affects people in different generations. So looking at people that are actually older with families, and they are so talented, have the experience, and really are able and have the capacity to step out of the corporate world, but they can't because, well, they have two children and health insurance would cost like thousand, a thousand dollars a month. They just can't afford it. And now that's something that used to be clearly so expensive that not everyone had access to it. Now everyone has access to it. I firmly believe that people are going to be fleeing the workforce because most of their main drivers for staying are the benefits package. That's it. It's insurance and then the kind of pluses of you know here and there of what you kind of get different discounts and things but it's usually the health insurance exactly and now that it's something that's so affordable people aren't going to necessarily need corporate nine to fives the way they used to absolutely and i think this also is going to force the traditional corporate workforce to have to change yeah so you're going to have to get really creative to attract people and to retain your employees especially my generation yeah if, if insurance is not even a matter of discussion, if I don't need you for it, then what are you going to give me to attract me to come work for you? Absolutely. It's a really good point. I mean, and it's, it is, it's that scalability of it. Of course, you know, as I start to pull more money out of my business and taking home more money, of course my premiums are going to go up. I'm not going to be on that subsidy scenario anymore, but that's okay. But to me, it's just... The scalability is brilliant and, and, and taking away that fear as we talk about a lot of times. Well, and, and also, you know, you now through Obamacare, you cannot be turned away for pre existing. This was a big deal for me. Mm -hmm. I was at, some, at one point paying double a premium because of my car accident. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a lot of titanium in my body, mm -hmm. and the fear of, you know, what if I need to have something removed, which has come up mm -hmm. in my past. Mm -hmm. Um, literally paid double. That is a big deal. You're absolutely right. <laughs> and you know, when someone's working at a corporate job, a pre-existing condition's really. I mean, yeah. sometimes it impacts it, but for the most part, the company's the one that pays for it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, and so now that that you take that off the table too, it's opening up a lot of doors. <laughs> yes. So we hope that if you're even considering starting a business, you'll take that into account. I think it's a really, really big deal. Mm -hmm. Not only will you know healthcare and insurance be more accessible, more affordable, more transparent, yeah. 
Um, I firmly believe that, you know, through other changes through Obamacare also, you know, with different technologies, etc., everything's going to become much more flat. It's going to be interesting to see how the world, and especially the workforce, changes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Awesome.